Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle and this must be amongst the favored arenas of supporters all over the world it really does have a very special feel to it some performance and now here comes the response Jim see making a difference here. Um, Pepe may well need to be at his best. There's a power about his game, thanks to very decent pace for a big man. And he doesn't lose out much in the air either. He could prove to be a very reliable presence here. Uh, the scourge of so many strikers. That gets things running. Pepe. William Carvalho. Ruben Diaz. Has he found his man? Ball is over the line. Leave it clear. Looking for space out wide. Coleman. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Well, the clearance is short. Nelson Semedo. Ruben Diaz. Guerrero. Bruno Fernandes. Pepe. William Carvalho. Nelson Semedo. And it's Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Tries to get it forward quickly. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. And it's hoisted clear. McLean not easily shrugged off the ball. Keeps everyone guessing. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. In with the challenge. Tries to locate someone up front. 
just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Hoists it forward. Shot at goal! Goal, Ireland! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Ireland to take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Guerrero. William Carvalho. Portugal are behind here, despite their domination of possession. Gets up to head it! He will be livid with himself. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Jota. Jota goes looking. Chance! He scores! Portugal a level! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Bruno Fernandes. And it's played forward. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Jota. And here's the long, and the weighted pass. Out of play for a goal kick. Nelson Semedo. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Guerrero. Finds himself eased off the ball. McLean did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Jota. Bernardo Silva. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Out towards the flank. He gets past his man. It is a corner. Bruno Fernandes goes short. A really good feat. Bruno Fernandes. Coleman with the clearance. And it's Danilo Pereira. Had a shot. Too close for comfort.
William Carvalho. Jota. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Forward it goes. Pepe. William Carvalho. And it's Bernardo Silva. Done very well to intervene. Into the box. Surely, Jota. Danilo Pereira. And there is the half-time whistle. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? It's been a really good watch, but I think the managers will be looking for that extra bit of organisation and focus now, just to try and get a little control on this game. So, both teams heading off for the break, an interesting game has brewed up here, hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half, but the score at half-time is 1-1. We are already promptly back on the way. Portugal playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half, despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Good ball, it's felt. Has a goal! Hoists it forward. Pepe cuts it out. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. McLean. Pepe is there to heave it away. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Jota, Bernardo Silva. That's a brilliant interception. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Semedo tries making a foray down the right. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Ruben Diaz, Bruno Fernandes, Guerrero tries to switch the play, Nelson Semedo. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva, is there any... it's bounced out! And for a moment, time stood still. Oh, that was great pressure to force the initial error, Peter. It's the perfect example as to why this is a favourite tactic of a lot of teams these days. Ireland are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Coleman. Battles to win it back. Jota. Ronaldo, who has made his impact already. Keeper sends it forward. William Carvalho tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Bernardo Silva. Guerrero. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. And the defence can get it clear. Hendrick. Chance to pick. Goes long. Rui Patricio can claim that. Guerrero, Bruno Fernandes, Guerrero, and 
they're not going to make any further progress now. There's a long ball. Good ball. And the shot! Chooses to go back. Goes for goal! It just took too long getting forward. Hendrik simply took an age to make his mind up, Peter. But urgency was the, the single requirement. Ireland have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. And it's played forward. William Carvalho. Nelson Semedo. Semedo plotting from out on the right hand side. Danilo Pereira. And here's it's one! Goal! Portugal! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Oh, what a cracking goal! But a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, that's the currency he deals in, and he's come good yet again. Never the one to let you down in these situations. Ireland are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Goes direct to the front line. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Keeper's got good distance on that. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Out to the right. Oh, nice touch. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Cristiano Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, hoists it forward. Portugal probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. Ruben Dias. Two minutes to be added on. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Nelson Semedo, William Carvalho, Danilo Pereira, and that is that. What a match, what a comeback. That is how to respond to adversity. Truly deserving winners. If you look back on the game then, Jim. Portugal simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predicted. Thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from